Hey everyone, so I came in yesterday. Uh, okay. Hey everyone, so I came in last night. I came in pretty late, around 1.30 ish midnight. So unfortunately for me now i couldn't surprise bay because he was not in town bay had already traveled to the other city where we'll be having the lunch you get what i'm saying so i couldn't surprise him so i just had no choice and to just tell him about the phone and i because he was not really like i told you before that he's someone that is hardly you know surprised he, he hardly expresses his surprise so i somehow subconsciously that thing has like registered in my mind that okay maybe this guy may not be like you know react to the, I, was, I was even expecting him to but i was surprised i was really really shocked that i couldn't catch that first moment for real like i could not catch that first moment of his reaction he leaps like a baby god that give me so much joy he leaps easy leaps that he left like a baby so i was able to just record you know the following reactions i was so so happy and that gave me so much so much joy i can't even explain it i was telling my girlfriend that i wasn't really in a good mood when i was coming because i really um i went from being so excited to jump on a plane to a place where just thinking about how i'm going to spend like you know four or five hours on air and then you know getting down touchdown i'm going to spend another like an hour plus on the road before i get home that can be really it's it's now get it's now becoming frustrating to me personally so that really contributed to like you know why i wasn't really in a very very good mood but just seeing that reaction from B last night really changed everything for me. And when I got home, you know, he wasn't around. I had to do a little bit of cleaning before I went to bed. So that was just that pretty it. That's just that typically. I'm going to the city where he is today. But first of all, I'm going to the hospital. I really needed to go to the hospital. I wanted to do some checkup. Yeah, I wanted to do some checkup with my chest, with my breast. Like I want to do some, you know, checkup. Yeah, medical checkup. And um, so yeah, I'm currently heading out. Uh, what else do I want to say? So when I get to the hospital, I'm going to show us, you know, the journey and everything. Um, I hope you're prepared. I actually came back for the launch of African Kitchen. It really took us. Only God knew what it took my husband to you know to take up the courage to like embark on this journey only god knows for real only god knows but that's another story for another day so you'll be seeing the vlogs from the you know from the launch and the preparation and all of that and um yeah so let's go to the hospital first i don't have to ask you to subscribe you should know what to do so let's go to the hospital you want to know what happens when you stop reading the word and praying daily Maybe within the first two or three days of missing these devotions, you'll begin to feel guilt for neglecting these practices. And if you don't course correct, the enemy will use that guilt and shame to make you feel like you can't pick up where you left off with the Lord. And once that happens, you'll notice your spiritual desires beginning to weaken. That which weakens my spirit strengthens my flesh. You'll start to replace the spiritual with the earthly, the eternal with the temporary. Then the way you think begins to change. Former thought patterns begin to govern you. You then begin to feel spiritually dry. You lose interest in the things of God and instead look for entertainment and pleasure. Then old habits begin to return. You may even start distancing yourself from friends and believers and church. Perhaps the Lord wanted you to see this today. It's not too late to change direction. No matter how far you think you've gone from him, a single moment of repentance can bring full restoration. Fireworks at Disney at midnight 
kitchen so when they just came in but we were hoping that you know could have captured that moment but it didn't happen oh yeah i thank god for the progress so far i'm going to try to see if i can capture any moments in the kitchen in the at the restaurants this evening i'm currently going to restaurants i had been quite exhausted this period so i slept a lot <laughs> so i'm going to the restaurant if i get there this evening I'll try to see if I can capture anything going on, you know, the behind the scenes and and all of that. Too. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's, it's eve of the lunch date and here we have our, the baker <laughs> and over there we have What is you? <laughs> what is you? <laughs> oh, a video eh? uh, Okay, over here we have our beautiful baker so, and chef and in here is the man of the day my my boyfriend my fine baby so currently we have Uchenna and Kizito they're trying to set up the can you set up your canopy mm -hmm. no oh yeah yeah three ticket so this is it African kitchen and we have our good great helps who are helping us to you know arrange things here this particular place is is located at the heartbeat of eu i think the international market is somewhere around here i think there so if you ever find yourself in china in eu you definitely should stop by and have yourself some great tests On this day i was way busy and every one of us had a lot of things to do from our own angles i handled the instagram i handled the reception i had a lot of things to do but i'm just going to insert you know some of the clips that came from the event and also the one the photographer the cameraman later sent in
Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Tima. Hi, right, Tima. Nice to meet you. What are your expectations for African Kitchen today? Um, I expect the food to be given. It's African Kitchen we're talking about, though. Um, my expectations from from African Kitchen today. Um, anyways, I I got the invitation to come here. The restaurant is opening today, so awesome. I expect the best from them. Oh. Uh, my expectation is that it can be open long enough and uh, it can last for as long as possible and able to provide at least uh, a different type of variety of food for the African community here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyways, I'm um, not expectation because I've tested their food in uh, recent times, hey. so I know what you can do. Ah, wonderful. And wonderful. I know what you can deliver. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Awesome, awesome. What do you think your favorite food on the menu would be? Honestly, I can't choose. Imagine choosing between jollof or a goosey or bitterly. Imagine, no. imagine, imagine, okay. imagine. All right. What do you think would be the best food on the menu for you? Uh, for me, okay, the food I ate last was, uh, I think, uh, bitter leaf, right? So today I would like to try other things. Ah, awesome, awesome, like awesome. See, I also yeah. like to try um, okra. Chai, chai, chai. For those of you who don't know okra, you go see bitter leaf. Ha <laughs> ha. Please, African kitchen. That's it, that's it, that's awesome. it. So as uh, you know, it's it's an african brand like what would you want to say to the owners like you know for opening an african restaurant here uh i mean all the best yeah and then of course it's an african brand so uh, as africans we have to be able to support each other all right yeah and then they should uh just work hard and and see how things go awesome awesome have you ever had food here no, this is my first time. Your first time? Oh, what food uh, maybe you are looking forward to eat here? Uh, well, I was I was thought the, the jollof here in Turkey is good, so that's what I'm going to have. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the time, bro. Uh